Hello everyone and welcome to some Mr. FPGA news. This week we will be talking about two DE10 Nano alternative boards, a Mr. FPGA console, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker being supported, some Hotego's cores released to the public, and more. Also, check out my channel sponsor, Mr. Adams, a place where you can get all your Mr. needs. Things like full Mr. setups, IO boards, accessories, and more. Now let's get to the news. Bedroom Ninja has released the 3D files for the first version of the Nintendo Famicom Disk System NFC case on printables, and it's looking really nice. If you want a fully built version of this case, Bedroom Ninja is asking users if they are interested, and if so, it will be added to the Kofi shop. The QM Tech DE10 Nano Alternative is getting a dedicated Mr. I.O. and USB board specifically made for it. The full setup is also shown in a custom case. The post says that VGA, audio output, 4-port USB hub, snack, button keys, and LEDs are implemented. Another post says that the analog I.O. board and USB hub are all merged into one board. This add-on board is currently undergoing verification and will go on sale soon. I ordered one of these boards already and it's arriving soon, so hopefully I can give you my preliminary thoughts in the near future. Wizzle showed off another example of what the new Tap2 serial driver can do. With this driver, you can expand Tap2's capability beyond just using NFC. Wizzle shows off a macro pad created from a Pi Pico. On the macro pad, each button is assigned to a token. There are buttons that reference keyboard inputs, another button runs a random Sonic game, another button exits a game, and there's a button to run Update All. Anyone will have the ability to further customize their setup with this driver. This is a pretty cool update and I'm looking forward to other functions people will come up with. Taki Udon gave a quick update regarding the mainstream Mr. FPGA consoles he's working on. This is not the DE10 Nano that's coming out soon, but a dedicated console device that's compatible with the Mr. FPGA software. A post says that the mainstream FPGA console wrapped up the industrial design stage. The console is going to be compact and sleek without sacrificing on I.O. or features. Some teaser 3D rendered images were also shown. Only parts of the console are shown, not the entire device. One image shows us that it will have component video. The actual component connectors are not shown, so either the connectors are somewhere else near the text, or there will be some type of way of revealing the connectors. Another image shows the USB-C power delivery port and two USB-A ports. And finally, there's an image showing that composite will also be supported. Like the component image, the actual port is not shown. Later in the week, Taki posted info about the DE10 Nano alternative. The post says that the board and all of the kit components are now in mass production. This includes the main board, USB hub, version 9.2 analog I.O. board, and SD RAM. And here's the pricing information. The Mr. Board will be under $99. The board and a 128 megabyte RAM kit will be under $115. The board, the RAM, a USB hub, and the 9.2 analog I.O. board will be around $145 to $160. Taki will know for sure soon. The Track 17 posted an update on the Twin Cobra Mr. FPGA core by Darren O. It's taking shape and a Track 17 will pull PCB measurements and address any remaining bugs before release. There were some instructions and math issues for the DSP chip on the core, but that was resolved by core developer Raki, also known as RCA Victor Co. on Twitter. The Beta Sega System 18 core has added support for Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. This arcade game differs greatly from the Sega Genesis version. The arcade version is an isometric three-player beat-em-up, but just like the Genesis version, it has excellent music. It's a really good game that's even better when playing with friends. Hotego says that this game proved really difficult to support as there are many bugs involving booting, the VDP graphics layer, and sound. The sound bugs were present in the core itself and not just this game, so fixing it helped the sound in other games. Hotego has the full details on Patreon regarding what the bugs were and how they were fixed. Again, this core is still in beta, so only Patreon subscribers can obtain it. As soon as it leaves the beta stage, it will be available to the public for free. Otego's JT House core that runs Namco System 1 games is now public. 
That means that you no longer need a Patreon subscription to download and can just run the update all script. This course runs games like Splatterhouse, Dragon Spirit, Pac-Mania, Galaga 88, Blast Off, Blazer, Boxy Boy, Dangerous Seed, Face Off, Marching Maze, Pro Tennis World Court, Quester, Rompers, Shadowland, Tank Force, Now get ready for some name butchering, as I'm going to tell you the games with Japanese names that are supported by the core. Choose Atsurinjin Berabaumen. Bakutotsu Kijute. Pistol Daimyo no Buken. and Pro Yaku World Stadium. Otego also released another core to the public. This one is the Neo Geo Pocket Core. There is still more work to do, but Otego says that the pending work on the core can be done independently. Mr. Addons updated his controller latency database. The database now has input latency results for the Reflex Adapt, Reflex Encode, and Reflex Control. The results are available in a spreadsheet, or you can browse them in the Latency Exploration page. So that's it for this episode. Please also try to support Sorge, the maintainer of the Mr. Project, and other Mr. Developers and contributors on support platforms such as Patreon and Ko-fi. Their hard work allows us to enjoy this amazing project. I also provided links to all my sources in the description. Make sure to also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in blog form and to get more retro-related content. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.